Hi guys, uh, welcome to today's video. I've been asked a, a few times recently about relays. So I thought I'd go through and talk about those today. Um, I use a relay, or a set of relays actually, a set of four relays in my Prusa box. Uh, mainly for turning on the um, rear vent, uh, the power supply vent I've got and the lights and I can also turn on the extractor if I want remotely as well. I use those through Octoprint, so this is de dedicated to using uh, Octo Relay in Octoprint. So let's have a quick look and see what we've got. So to start off with, I'll talk about the power supply. I've got a, a 12 volt power supply here. Uh, it's uh, it, it would be uh, connected to a power brick, so 12 volt, I think it's 12 volt 3 amp, goes into your mains and you've got this socket here. Uh, in the Prusa box, if you've got the uh, buck converter, you'll have a socket similar to this fixed to the buck converter. Uh, so you're just plugging it directly into the butt converter. If you don't have a butt converter, you can use one of these um, sockets and insert that into the back of your Prusa box, but you may need to possibly adapt the hole. So, there we go. 12 volt power connected. What have we got here? So, on the butt converter, I'm going to, in this example, I'm going to power a fan. So I'm going to switch that on and off. On a bike converter, by the side of the socket, you've got a positive and negative uh, 12 volt terminals. Uh, as you can see in the image I'm just putting up now. So if you're powering for 12 volts, you can source your power from there. If you're sourcing uh, a 5 volt power, perhaps you've got a 5 volt fan or 5 volt LEDs, it will be the other end of the buck converter, just as you can see here, uh, that there are some 5 volt terminals that you can use. So in my case, 12 volt power supply, positive and negative, coming from the 12 volt side. The negative is just going directly into the fan here. Let's zoom out a little bit so you can see a little bit better. So the negative just goes straight to the fan. The positive is going to be the switched. At the moment we've got the positive coming from the 12 volts into the center pin of this relay block. You may only just have one relay or you may have one or a, a twin. I've got a four here. So the common switch is in the center and to the left of that is the normally open contact and that contact will close and create a circuit once the relay is energized so at the moment both are plugged in to the relay but the contact inside the relay is open so nothing's going to happen with the fan as yet so that, that's the power side hopefully that's reasonably understandable so once that relay closes, creates a circuit and you've got 12 volts directly going to the fan and it will start. So let's have a look at the, the important part, the Raspberry Pi and the relay itself. Now on the Raspberry Pi, I've actually got two power leads going from the Raspberry Pi to the relay. Um, I found out the hard way, if you're just using a 3.3 volt, which is this yellow one here, going to the there's a VCC connection in this set of four here which would normally be the positive um, it wasn't enough to switch the relays and having looked online and I would include uh, a video about how this is wired up just in case anyone doesn't believe me uh, I found out the way to do it is to have a 5 volt which is the orange one going to the uh, JD VCC connection which is just there 
and then the 3.3 volt the yellow one going to the VCC there so 3.3 goes to the VCC 5 volts goes to the JD VCC so we're not using the positive VCC plug there at all and just to let you know there is a tiny little jumper connection that you have to take off to be able to access these pins so that will provide sufficient switching power for the relay uh, next is a ground so if you look uh, on Google basically for the GPIO pins on a Raspberry Pi uh, you'll see there's lots of different ground connections so I've just plugged in one ground connection and plugged it into the ground on the relay finally um, you need to um, choose which relay you're going to use this is relay number one um, so I've plugged my signal cable into relay number one they're all numbered and on the Raspberry Pi I've plugged it into GPIO pin 21 so again if you look on Google for pin numbers you'll be able to get a, a map this is this end one is GPIO pin 21 so the idea now is that uh, we will get Octa Relay to switch pin 21 so I'm going to do that now okay so here's Octoprint uh, so once you've logged in uh, if you haven't already installed Octa Relay if you go into the settings and you can go into the plugin manager and you should be able to get more and then search for Octa Relay. Now I've already got that installed so there is Octa Relay and it basically allows you to configure the GPIO numbers and we just looked at GPIO port 21 on the Raspberry Pi and get it to actually activate the relay so that's currently active at the moment you can give it a, a label so I've just indicated it's a fan but it could be LED lighting the GPIO number uh, depending on whether you want the, the output inverted uh, output uh, startup or not uh, you can do various commands I haven't messed around with that at all uh, they, they do provide some default icons as well obviously lighting is not quite uh, light bulbs are not quite right um, but on some of the other uh, examples they've got they ha do have other icons as well and you can find your own as well uh, whether you want the relay to turn on as soon as um, the Pi boots up that might be handy for lighting actually uh, whether the item should turn on before printing and if it should turn off after printing well in our case a fan yes you want it to start before and you want it to turn off after and you can also delay the turn off as well so if you want the fan or whatever device it may be to carry on for a, f a few seconds or a few minutes you can put that time in and that's it that's that's how you set it up as simple as that so there we go and just save the settings once you've you've done that and you'll see we've got a little icon in the top so I can actually manually turn the device on or off and that's what I'm going to do now turn it on and off a few times just so that you can see that what we've done earlier actually does work so here we go so that's turned on and that's turned off and on and off so you can see the light on the relay going on and off obviously the fan takes a while to, to slow down so you're probably not going to uh, notice that as much so that's manually doing it and it will obviously automatically do it when you're printing using Octoprint.
so here you can see the relay in place I've got uh, the 3.3 and 5 volt power cables here I've got a, a black ground and then I've got three uh, signal wires that go back to the Pi I've actually only got two relays connected uh, one is for the lights and one is for the rear fans on the power supply unit so basically any device um, for example the fans we have uh, the positive lead from the fan going to the common and then from the normally open uh, terminal going to the uh, thermostat controller and the negative from the fan just goes directly to the negative terminal on the buck converter so when the Raspberry Pi uh, sends the signal on the particular GPIO pin it will then close the relay and that creates a circuit and will allow the fan to come on equally for the LED lighting same principle the positive cable will go into the relay and into the common and then from the normally open so uh, terminal it will go to positive on the buck converter or it might go via a switch and then to the positive on the buck converter and equally the relevant GPIO cable goes to the Pi um, I've got it set that uh, when the print starts the lighting will turn on so it'll provide a signal when, once the lighting's uh, sorry it'll provide a signal once the print starts that will close the relay and the lighting will turn on in my case I do have a, a separate switch so I can turn the lighting off as well so that it just interrupts the positive feed and as you can see the the relay just actually slots into a couple of rails just slides in that that's the only fixing it's just high enough with that amount of cabling to fit all all the wiring together so it's quite snug but it is a, a slight revision of the existing template so i hope that little demonstration was useful uh, anyone that's seen my uh, recent video on the rear power supply fans for the Prusa box, it's basically rigged up in the same way that I've got two fans and two negative cables going into the negative line and two positive cables joined up and going into the relay. So whether it's one fan or two, doesn't really matter. Uh, so hopefully that will help any questions on, on the wiring there but that's overall a, a quick view uh, using those relays as I say if you've just got a single relay not a bank of four you wouldn't need to do the JD VCC connections etc those single relays just have three pins a ground a signal and a VCC which is positive and just plug 3.3 volts so that's the yet the yellow one there uh, into the VCC do not plug 5 volts into a relay because you'll probably damage your Raspberry Pi so 3.3 volts only uh, into if uh, a single relay but as we've got four we do have to use both 5 volts and 3.3 so any questions or suggestions for videos uh, please add in in the comments below uh, if you like this video please do a like and subscribe that would be really welcome and thank you very much for watching.